get no rest. Hi guys, today no jump into a beautiful location. No, I'm going to drive with my scooter to the start of a small hill and then I'm going to try to climb the hill while I talk to you guys about blockchain, Bitcoin and life. So let's go. wearing flip-flops but I'm wearing a shorts so there will be a lot of scratches to my legs but let's see I took a small bottle of water as you could see in this morning's opening yes I am doing a diet this is a super food diet something to do with super food and shakes every day in the last two weeks I already lost two and a half kilo doing its job really good I will continue this diet for the next couple of weeks and then in a couple of weeks I will disclose to you guys what kind of diet I was following for these weeks and how many kilos and centimeters I lost I feel like I'm eating more than normally I lost two and a half kilo without feeling bad can you feel bad with these beautiful views around you every day and while climbing this hill guys yes talking about blockchain bitcoin and life probably heavily breathing because it doesn't look like a very easy path to walk i need to watch out for scorpions snakes and all that kind of stuff here on the spanish hills <laughs> it is amazing steve urban would have said there used to be a path over here the path is now full with bushes because i love these views from top beautiful way to zoom out on things and think about life Bitcoin and blockchain let's start to talk about Uniswap yes you have read it everywhere in the news articles everybody is talking about it because Uniswap now surpassed 1 billion in daily volume 1 billion in daily volume that is a huge volume for decentralized exchange yes please remember Uniswap is a decentralized exchange and they are doing now more volume in a day than the most big exchanges out there yes of course not bigger than Binance and OKEx but I think on the third place now Uniswap with 1 billion US dollar in volume that is a lot of volume guys 1 billion dollar in a decentralized exchange nobody would have believed this a year ago when you would have told them that it all has to do with the DeFi stuff and it all has to do with these crazy pop coins that are pumping like YFI and all of these projects but please be aware there are also projects that are not just pumping they are also dumping Ooh. slippery I tweeted today everybody in DeFi now is let's eat some hot dogs let's eat some pizza before they go only up and with this tweet I already touched three DeFi projects that went up tremendously but dumped five minutes after till almost zero so we're talking about hot dog we're talking about pizza and we're talking about only up I don't know who is investing in these kinds of projects with these kinds of names but I wouldn't invest in a project called hot dog and I wouldn't invest in a project called pizza and probably also not invest in a project that's called only up because guys there's one rule in life and that's also to do with gravity everything that goes up must come down and I don't want my subscribers to lose money so please be aware with your investments please invest only in projects that you really believe that have a chance of succeeding not because it's a hype because these high projects don't believe everything they tell you so please don't tell me in a couple of weeks I didn't warn you all these projects they can go up like a rocket but they can come down like a bomb and if they come down like a bomb your capital your investment will explode 
I almost ran into another spider web with a big ass spider. So I will make a detour. <laughs> so when it comes to spiders, I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out. The last hike we did was more easy. It was like more of a hikey thing. This one is really steep and slippery and bushy. So I need to find a way to get up there because this is not the way. You just walk around it to the left or right and you find another path. That's the same with life. People are afraid to take decisions in life because they think these decisions are forever. Nothing is forever. If you take a turn to the left in life, this road will again end at a point where you can go left or right again. If you don't like the left or the right side, then you can just turn back and walk back home again. That is how I look at life. I just walk. And when I get into a hurdle, I just walk to the left of this or to the right of this. And then when I walk to the left of this, at the end, again, I can choose to go right or left. And that's how you continue your path in life. That's how we are able to just live with this continuous, volatile, all-in crypto style, because you need to be able to adapt continuously um, if you wanna not freak out on every dip in Bitcoin, not freak out in every dip in altcoins, etc. Let's go higher, Didi, because the next part in the video, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and I'm going to share with you guys some really cool scenarios in Bitcoin that can take the price of Bitcoin higher and higher and higher. Just like we are climbing to the top higher and higher and higher. Talk about Bitcoin. When I reach the top of this hill, it's not an easy climb. So shut the fuck up, Didi. Focus on all these loose rocks and talk to you about the rest when you're up there. See you when I'm up there. When you look at these hills from a distance, they look very small and they look like, ah, I will run up this hill. They all seem a little bit higher than they look from a distance. But I'm reaching the top almost. What you do for your subscribers to show them amazing views, at least I thought that was the top, but there is another top behind. <laughs> and when we are there, I think we can even see the sea, guys. Two more things I want to talk about before I reach the top and I talk about Bitcoin with you guys. And believe me, you don't want to miss these Bitcoin charts I'm going to share with you guys. They are amazing. So keep watching this video. This is also cool news, but news I'm going to tell you on top of there that will, will be way cooler. Ave is now stepping into the real estate business as well. And they are now going to provide tokenized loans because of real estate. Together with real IT, you can now tokenize your house and then use the tokens you lend out to get a loan in US dollars. So, so for example, you have a house, you paid your whole mortgage, you can only make money when you sell the house or when you rent out the house. But now there will be a third option because of Aave and Real IT. Because now you can tokenize your house and then use these tokens of your house as collateral for a US dollar loan. So kind of selling part of your house to token holders they will invest in your house at that point because they believe that the price of house also is going to increase. And then you can use these tokens as a collateral for a loan in US dollars. And then you can use these loans for whatever you want. Invest in crypto, invest in a new house, whatever thing you think that will make you money because you still need to pay back these token holders in the future. But because your house will increase in price, possible to pay back these token holders out of the profit of the price increase of your house. And if not, you need to make sure the business you're starting with that loan you made in US dollar theater is making a huge amount of profit so then you can pay back the people that bought your house tokens the profits from the company you set up with that loan or the cryptos you invested in with that loan. Really cool future. I'm also looking forward to the next step, the next step where I will be able to buy a house by using loans that I get 
from people that are buying tokens from that house. So there is a house for sale for 300,000 US dollar. I will make sure this house will be tokenized and I will ask the help of 30 friends all over the world to buy 10K of shares in this house. So then I have 300,000 US dollar in tokens. I can buy the house and all these guys will make the return on investment. And even we can make a smart contract where I'll pay them an interest every month, just like I'm paying interest to the bank because I have a mortgage at them. So now I don't need a mortgage anymore. Now I can use the help of all those people, small time investors that will buy the tokens of my tokenized house. They will have the security of my house as a collateral, just like the bank now has my house as a collateral. If I would own a house, I don't own a house, but if I'm going to buy a house in the future, I want to buy a house in a tokenized way because I want to be buying a house in a very decentralized ways where the crypto community is helping me to buy this house. Cool concept for the future. So I will keep an eye on this business because maybe in a like, couple of years when we are like tired of all this traveling, we will need to buy a house again. And then let's see if this industry has evolved to this big of industry that then we can help each other with buying houses by buying the tokens of the house you just tokenized to buy. Yes, sounds very complex, but I don't think it is. Please think about it because I think this is just one huge part of the decentralization of this whole monetary system because a huge part of the monetary system is all about real estate. And if we are able to decentralize this real estate part of the monetary system, we are just another step closer to complete decentralization of the monetary system and the world. And therefore, more and more people will be able to have access to this monetary system, loans, houses, etc. This will only do good for the world. I'm a strong believer of blockchain for good. I'm a strong believer of Bitcoin for good. We are going to, no, we are changing the world already together. Now I need some melodramatic music, as if I can't reach the top. Ah, I'm always there. It's so heavy. I can't make it. Please help me. You can help me. You can help me by giving this video a thumbs up share it with your communities, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, thumbs up, yeah, every thumbs up I climb higher, and another one, another thumbs up please, yo, and another one, another thumbs up please, yeah, another one, man, this guy is really crazy, another one please, yeah, he is losing his mind, Bitcoin is dipping, no, he is just crazy, another one, another thumbs up, give me one, yeah, Ooh. one more, yeah, can I have three more thumbs up, Please. One, two, and three. Lift off! I've reached the top of this hill. Happy man, happy man. And I can see, see from here. Amazing view, guys. Check it. Bitcoin revolution guys, Bitcoin revolution on the top of this hill. These charts will amaze you. I have never seen them before and I'm going to share them now with you. Let's take the first chart, this one. Bam, beautiful chart. What can you see? This is a price index chart after the halving. So you can see three lines. These three lines represent the increase of price of Bitcoin after the halving. So we have the top one, that's a top one, that's a dark blue one. This one is 2012. Then we have the lighter blue one. This one is 2016. And then we have the orange one. This is the current price after the halving. Like you can see, this orange line is moving exactly in between the 2012 period and the 2016 period after the halving. The period after the 2012 halving showed the biggest increase in price. Then the period after the 2016 halving also showed a big increase in price, but not as big as the 2012 one. And now this one, the 2021 from May this year, is exactly in between these two prices. So let's take a look at these prices. In 2012, four months after the halving, the Bitcoin price was 200% higher than the price during the halving. 
In 2016, the price was 100% higher than during the halving. Six months after the halving, the 2012 price was only 100% higher than the start of the halving. And then at that point, the 2016 price after the halving was 180% above the price around that halving. Then after 13 months, Bitcoin made a huge jump in 2012. It took a 9,000% price jump. In 2016, after nine months, Bitcoin world also went up, but only with 800%. Still a lot of profit in Bitcoin at that point. And then 18 months after the halving in 2012, we could see Bitcoin still 3,500% above the price that it was during the halving. And then you can see the difference because in 2016, 18 months later was exactly the peak because at that point Bitcoin was 2,200% above the price during the halving in 2016. And now we can see this orange price. This one is moving exactly in between. If we would keep moving in between, then at the end of this year, so December 2020, the price should be around 41,000 US dollar. Crazy cool chart. And what did he, if, if something else happens, what is the possibility of the Bitcoin price being in between these lines? Where can it not go below this line or above this line? Everything is possible. No one knows for sure, but it's really cool to see these charts and to see what happened in a couple of months. This can again happen in a couple of months. But let's take a look at this chart. This chart will give you a little bit more insight in what could happen with the price and the price range. I love these two charts. Check this one. BAM! Yes, a hard BAM this time because it is a crazy cool BAM chart. This chart is showing you something very beautiful. Because this chart is showing that indeed the end of the year Bitcoin should be 41,000 US dollar and in April 21 the Bitcoin price should be around 100,000 US dollar. So take a close look at the chart and I will explain you why this chart is telling us this. On this chart you can see this cloud, this bluish area. This cloud is representing the range of the previous halvings. The top of the cloud it was the top half of the previous halvings and the bottom of the cloud is the bottom of the previous halvings. So this blue area is the area where we could be moving inside if we stay in between these two halvings levels. The blue line guys is the average growth. So this is the average growth of the Bitcoin price after the halving. So that is exactly between the top and the bottom, somewhere in between. It is a little bit more higher to the top, but this line is representing the average price increase of Bitcoin after the halving, if you look at the months after the halving. And then we have this beautiful orange line. This is the orange line. This is the Bitcoin price now. As you can see, we are exactly moving in this range. And if we would keep moving the way we are moving in this range, then we would see a Bitcoin price of 41,000 US dollar in December this year and a Bitcoin price of 100,000 US dollar of 100,000 US dollar in April 20 21 and to be exactly around the 18th of April 2021. So if we would keep following these charts and just and would be repeating what happened in the past after the halving, we would see these prices very soon. Really cool indicator for you guys to see what you can expect of Bitcoin because Bitcoin has already proven to be able to move in these kinds of patterns and I think Bitcoin can repeat these patterns and then we call them a fractal. So then you could ask yourself, so what is the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario that we would be at the bottom of this cloud and then still in December we would be around 20,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. To be honest, my glass is always half full, not half empty. So I will prefer to look at the best case scenario and the best case scenario Bitcoin would be at the top of the range of this cloud and then we would be at 75,000 US dollar at the end of this year. I don't think this is going to happen. But I do think we are going to be in between of the bottom of the cloud and the top of the cloud. So that would mean at the end of this year, in December, we would be above the last all-time high. Yes, we can reach this all-time high already in November, but in December we can even be higher or 
pulled back again to above the 20k of the last all-time high amazing charts i love them please give a thumbs up for these charts please share these charts with your friends and family subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts do you trust these charts do you think that these charts could happen again or do you really think bitcoin is going to crash to zero or whatever other scenario do you think that is going to happen to bitcoin and please leave a comment and tell me your opinion because we need to educate each other and guys 40k 70k 60k 20k 100k all fine with me as long as i can hold all my bitcoins and ride this beautiful rocket to the moon that we refer to as the bull run of 2020-21 which will probably be not as high as the moon but hopefully it will be as close as possible to the moon i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your communities subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to reply to your comments Thanks for watching today. I wish you an amazing day and please always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life because you need to try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Zooming out from this beautiful here in Alicante, Spain. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.